Hello guys. Um, so here are some equations involving exponentials, right? Uh, we want to solve them. So let's uh, let's solve these ones using what we know about the properties of exponentials. We have two plus nine e to the one plus two x is equal to eleven. We want to solve for x. You can take two to decide of the equation, right? So yeah, we have. 9e e to the 1 plus 2x is equal to 11 minus 2, which is equal to 9. Okay, easier. So 9e e to the 9 divided through by 9, and you have e to the 1 plus 2x is equal to 1, right? 9 divided by 9, and get 9. Okay, so this is e raised to some power is equal to 1. e is not 0, okay? Which means that this, remember this, you can write as e raised to the power zero. All right. So I have the same basis. Then the exponent must be equal. All right. So if I have a raised to the power x is a raised to the power y, then x is equal to y. Okay. In the same way, if I have log, maybe it's a of x. Log maybe a of y, then x must be equal to y. Okay, since log is um, continuous, is one to one, right? If this is equal to that, then the arguments must be the same. So that is how we're going to use log. So this means that one plus two x must be equal to zero, right? So one plus two x is equal to zero. This is easy to solve. Okay. Good. So you can always check your answer by putting the answer back here, right? If I put x equals negative one over two here, I'm going to have a negative one here. That will be one minus one zero e to the power zero is one. So I'm left with nine plus one, which will be eleven. Okay. Good. So let's do question two. Question two, you have five raised to the power four x minus seven. This is equal to one two five. Okay. So the point is to try to make this the same thing as that. All right. One twenty five is the same as five raised to the power four. Three, right? 5 times 5, 25, 25 times 5, 125. Alright, which means 4x minus 7 is equal to 3. So you solve for x. So 4x is equal to 3 plus 7, that is 10. Therefore, x is 10 over 4, that is 5 over 2. Right? Cancel out. Okay, so x is 5 over 2. Let's solve this guy. We have, we have 3 raised to the power x squared plus 4x is equal to 1 over 27. Remember, 27 is the same as 3 raised to the power 3, right? This is 1 over 3 to the power 3, and that is 3 to the negative 3, right? So you have 3 to this power is equal to 3 to the negative 3. The exponents must be the same. So x squared plus 4x must be equal to negative 3, which means that x squared plus 4x plus 3 is 0. Well, factors of 3 that will add up to this are uh, 1 and 3. So this can be written as x plus 1 and then x plus 3. Right? And so x is equal to negative 1 or x is negative 3. Okay? And you can check once again to see whether your answers are correct. Good. Last one in this set. 
Okay, so we have now, we have e raised to the power 1 plus 3x minus 2, e to the 5x, 5 minus 2x. Alright, okay, trying to solve for x. What do we do? Well, um, we can take this to that side. For the start, we have e to the 1 plus 3x is equal to 2 e to the power 5 minus 2. Right? Now we can bring this down here and divide this. This means that e to the 1 plus 3x all over e to the 5 minus 2x is equal to 2. Okay. This we can write it. Note that if I have e to the x over e to the y, this is the same as e to the x minus y. Okay, so if I take this up, I'm going to subtract this. So we get we get that, let me get rid of these guys. Um, yeah, all of these. It's our last one. So, we're going to have e raised to the power of 1 plus 3x minus, so it's minus y. So, minus 5 minus minus, so plus 2x. So, minus 5 plus 2x is equal to 2. Right? So, this implies e raised to the power the x's can combine to give you 5x. This I need to make it to 4 is equal to 2. Okay? Now, how do I get rid of this to get this? I can, I can take the lean of both sides, right? Remember, lean E is 1. Lean E is equal to 1, but lean is the same as log minus E of E, right? Log the base e of base one. Okay, so take the lean of both sides. If you do that, you're going to get okay. So lean e to the five x minus four is lean two. This will give me five x minus four. This is lean e, but lean e is one. Okay, this is one. So really, I have five x minus four. Is equal to lane 2. So you just take this to that side and divide through by 5. So finally, I'll get rid of this. Okay? Okay, let me, um, yes, let me get rid of that. You don't need that. Okay? So, 5x is equal to, I take 4 there, 4 plus lane 2. Divide through by 5, you have x is 4 plus lane 2 all over 5. And that is the answer. Alright, that's the solution to, um, to the problem. Yes. Okay, you can try it again. Alright, I'll come here with some questions on the letter Right, equations involving 